Hi, my name is Ted Haggard, St. James Church in Colorado Springs, Colorado. I want to talk to you about one of the biggest issues in the world today. God is God and He is in love with you. He sent His Son, the Lord Jesus, to be your High Priest, to be your Intercessor, to be your Savior, to be your Lord, to be your King. God offers you His love, His healing, His redemption, His kindness. But when people get in the business of speaking for God, there's a lot of money and a lot of power and a lot of influence associated with that. And so, of course, we deal with that constantly. Some people are disillusioned because the church has been so hateful and judgmental and greedy. Some people are confused because they read through Christian books and there's a lot of opinions, but they're conflicting opinions with other books. And that's why as a teenage boy, I made a decision as I was going through my development that I would just read a chapter or two or three of the Bible myself every night. And I would value the New Testament. I knew the, I knew the life of Christ was the, the manifestation of God here on the earth itself. I knew the Old Testament was God pointing out to mankind that we were disobedient and in need of a savior. And then I would go to church and I would hear sermons and things that were helpful and wonderful and enlightening to the degree they reflected the scripture. But then they would go off on their own cultural things or their own political things or their own financial things. And sometimes they would distort the scripture and there's no way to know that unless you read it yourself. So I would encourage you to have a note of caution for anyone that says they represent God to you. I've been a pastor for over 25 years. I've had my good days and I've had my bad days. And I can tell you the most I've ever considered myself as somebody's brother in the Lord. Sometimes people would call me a shepherd. I would say, nope, there is only one good shepherd and his name is Jesus. We are at best an under shepherd, but we are never anyone else's priest. We are never anyone else's uh, spiritual spokesperson for God. Even those who claim to be prophets see through a lens darkly. Even those who claim to be apostles are confused about some of the subtleties of godliness. Because this is not heaven, this is earth. And so that's why we need to trust Jesus himself and we need to trust the scriptures themselves. So I encourage you, no matter what kind of church you're in, no matter what kind of a spiritual body you participate in, read through the New Testament. Start with the Gospel of John. And then read through the book of Acts. Read through Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. Read through the epistles. Underline the things that are meaningful to you. And know that there is no priest on the earth that is a spokesperson for God or a representative of God that you need to give things to in order to get favor from God. There is one high priest, his name is Jesus Christ. He's the son of the living God. He sits at the right hand of God the Father and he's making intercession for you right now. And because he loves you and has already forgiven you of your sins, you can approach him boldly and confidently with your requests, with your petitions, with your worship, and you can go directly to God the Father. And I know it's wonderful to have somebody say, oh, the Lord has a word for you, but that may or may not be true through them. You may hear somebody say, if you will give, then God will do this or that. That may or may not be true. But when you read something in 1 Peter, it is true. When you read something in Colossians, it is true. When you read something in Galatians, it is true. When you're in your room or in your home or in your barn or out in the field, worshiping God in spirit, in direct communication with God the Father, with Jesus the Son being your Lord, you know the Spirit is working in your life and nurturing you because He loves you. So I just wanted to say that because there's a lot of confusion around with people who think they represent God, and I think they sincerely think they represent God. But as you know, there's a lot of murder that goes on in the world, a lot of hatred that goes on in the world, a lot of condemnation that goes on in the world by people who claim to be speaking for God. And actually, there's not going to be any wars in heaven, no poverty in heaven, no condemnation in heaven, no sickness in heaven. This is earth, and men are men. Men are liars. God is truthful.
All right, that's enough for today. Hey, God bless you. Have a wonderful time.